Welcome to an example of a quotient involving a fraction. Here we have six divided by nine-fourths. So our goal is to determine how many nine-fourths there are in six. To find this quotient, we're going to use an alternative approach, where if both of these are in fraction form, and both fractions have a common denominator, we can find the quotient of the two fractions by determining the quotient of the numerators. Here if we have a over b divided by c over b, the quotient is equal to a over c or a divided by c. We'll also find the quotient using the traditional algorithm where we multiply by the reciprocal. So to start the alternative approach, we're going to write six as six over one divided by nine-fourths. And now we'll obtain a common denominator, which should be four. So we'll multiply six over one by four over four. This would give us the quotient twenty-four fourths divided by nine-fourths. So now we want to find how many nine-fourths there are in twenty-four fourths. But since our denominator is the same, all of these pieces are the same size, which means this quotient is the same as determining how many nines there are in twenty-four, and therefore the quotient is equal to twenty-four divided by nine. Again, this is only true when our denominators are the same. Well, twenty-four divided by nine would just be twenty-four ninths. And this does simplify because both twenty-four and nine share a common factor of three, which means this simplifies to eight-thirds, which is a simplified fraction, but if we are asked to express this as a mixed number, we'd have to convert the improper fraction to a mixed number by dividing eight by three. So eight divided by three, there are two threes in eight, two times three is six. We have a remainder of two, which means eight-thirds is equal to two and two-thirds, the remainder over the divisor. So going back to the original division problem, this quotient tells us there are two and two-thirds copies of nine-fourths in six, or there are two and two-thirds nine-fourths in six. Now let's also find the quotient using the traditional algorithm, which means instead of dividing by c over d, we can multiply by the reciprocal, which would be d over c. So we'd write six as six over one, and then instead of dividing by nine-fourths, we'll multiply by four-ninths. And before we multiply, we want to simplify any common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice that six and nine share a common factor of three. There are two threes in six and three threes in nine. And now we multiply. Two times four is equal to eight, and one times three is equal to three. Notice how for both quotients we have eight-thirds, which is also equal to two and two-thirds. So obviously both quotients are the same. It's really up to you to decide which method works best for you. I hope you found this example helpful.